Greetings, stay a while and listen. Yes, welcome back after a week off to the distance learning cool tool of the week. My name is Jason Thomas, so let's get this started. Today, episode 13, we're going to go over a few ways you can download and play YouTube videos without internet. The reason you might want to do this is because you might sometimes be in an area, maybe a conference or just a classroom where you don't have internet, or the wireless is really iffy and you just don't know if it's going to work that day. So what you can do is you can download the videos and play them offline. Or you can take these downloaded videos and upload into your course. Or you can take these videos and store them on a flash drive and move them around really easily without having to drag your computer around. The options you have for getting these videos are first you can use Firefox in a little add-on I'll talk about. You can use any browser and a special website to get a link to the file. You can install a program on your computer or if you really don't want to do any of these, you can just record the screen as it's playing. So first way, and the way that I use most often, is using Firefox in an add-on called Video Download Helper. Okay, in order to use Firefox, the first thing you have to do is get Firefox. The easiest way to do that is just to search for, believe it or not, Firefox. And you'll want to click on this one that leaks you to Mozilla.com. You click on it, look at that, a free download, you click that button, and then you just run the application. It'll go through the whole install process. I'm not going to do this. I already have Firefox installed. So once you've done that, now you'll want to load up Firefox. I've started Firefox, and so now I want to get some add-ons. So I'm just going to easily search for Firefox add-ons. I could have gone directly to add-ons.mozilla.org, but either way. So I'll get here, and what I want to do is install the add-on called Video Download Helper. Video Download Helper, you just search for it. Download Helper as one word. Hit the button, and there it is. It's this little three spherical looking thing. You just click Add to Firefox. It'll give you a message saying it's downloading. Then it'll ask you if you want to install. Hit Install, and then Restart Firefox. Alright, I've restarted Firefox, and now what you'll see is down at the bottom, Video Download Helper, right here. So, now you go to your YouTube site. Alright, so once you go to YouTube, you're just going to find a video you want to download. So I'm just going to go with a soccer video. Alright, and once you do that, you'll see Video Download Helper starts lighting up. That's a good thing, so you click the arrow, and it gives you options to download. FLVs are going to be able to play with the video player I will show you later. Um, the numbers at the beginning are general quality, big numbers are better. And then the one that says medium, you're going to see it's an MP4 file. And those are generally pretty high quality, they're standard for iPods and things like that. So I'm just going to hit save. As you can see, the video is downloading, and we're just going to let that finish. Alright, my video is done. Alright, here's my video right here. I'm just going to open this with Windows Media Player. You'll see it opens and it plays. And I can take this file, I can embed it into Moodle, I can put it on my flash drive and take it with me wherever I go. And this is offline, I don't need the internet to use it. If you don't want to use Firefox or mess with add-ons, the second option is a website called keepvid.com. What you do is you find your video on YouTube. You'll want to go to the top URL bar and copy that URL. Then you'll go to www.keepvid.com. And you will paste that URL, hit download. And what it does is it will generate a link to that. If you get a pop-up that asks you to trust it, just so say run and it gives you all kinds of links to download this video and all you have to do is click on it and you can save it to your computer and it'll work just the same way as the Firefox add-on had and another little quick tip here if you just want the audio from something and you don't want the video you can also download just an mp3 it makes the third option is that you could use a standalone program that's free called the YouTube downloader and just by doing a basic search for it you'll see that it is in the top results. I would suggest going to the cnet.com one, have less ads, and just easier to get to the download. So I click on it, shows me my program, click download now. 
in case you're using Internet Explorer, it's probably going to give you an error and you won't see it. That just means you have to click up here and click download. All right, I'm going to click run and this is going to install the program. All right, I skipped through. Just click next on everything until you get to install it and it's going to install it and then you click yes and it is done. I'm going to leave this checked and start up YouTube Downloader. All right, this is pretty easy. Here is the program. All you have to do is enter in the URL you want. All right, so I've got this video I want to download. I'm going to take the URL like before, copy it, and I'm going to open the YouTube Downloader, paste that URL. I'm going to say which kind of quality do I want. I'm just going to take whatever they have. Where do I want to save it? I want to save to my desktop. And then you click download. All right, fast forward to the end. We have got this video done. If I go to my desktop, it is right here. And I can play this file and the video should come up. And finally, you could just record your screen using one of the tools we talked about in a previous podcast called Screencast-O-Matic. So what you'll do is you'll load your video right to the beginning and then pull up your screencasting software. I'm just going to use screencastomatic.com and what you'll do is you'll start recording. It'll load up the screen recorder. You will set it to just be the size of the video you're trying to record. And then you will click record and then you will start the video. And you'll see I'm recording it. I'm just going to fast forward on to the end and then we pause, tell it it's done, and then you can save this video file to your computer. You'll tell it what format you want it and click save. And you'll get your video file down on your computer. Alright, so now you've downloaded your video. If you used one of the first couple methods, you could have an MP4 file or an FLV. Regardless of how you download the video and what format it's in, there's a really easy way to get it to play no matter what and you can use a program called VideoLAN or VLC. So if you just search for VLC, it'll give you the official page. And if you're using Windows, you just click Download. They do have Mac versions and all that, which you can find on their site. So you just click on that big download button and download the file. If it doesn't come up right away, you can click Direct Link. But mine looks like it's coming up. You hit Run and it will download and install VLC. All right, I skipped ahead through the installation. All you have to do is click Next on everything. This is VLC. No matter what video file I have, audio file, this will play it. I've never found a file it couldn't play. So all you have to do is, if you went through the default installation, it will have set everything to defaults. You can just double click, and it opens the file. All right, that is it. Now you can get those YouTube videos downloaded and playing in no time. My contact information, as you can see, is jthomas at spcc.edu. My telephone number is listed below. You can Skype me at Epic Thomas or come visit me in the trailer of Infinite Productivity. Brought to you by Jason Thomas, South Piedmont Community College, and Ironic Boom. <laughs>